Donda is an album that makes you reflect and analyze who you are and makes you think where am I and where you at in life. Donda is an album named after Kanye's late mother, Donda, who passed due to heart conditions. As we know, Ye's mom was a big part of his life, so seeing how Ye has moved throughout his career is obvious how much of an impact it had on him when she passed. This album felt like a parting gift to his mother and realizing she's really gone, but her spirit is still within him. So this album had to be perfect in paying tribute to your late mother. If you have an album titled after your mother, I'm pretty sure you would want to make it as great as you can, right? This album, man. And I find I find myself listening and jamming to it in rotation since it came out man it's it's a really good album and honestly my album of the year now first things first Ye is a producer man when you think about Kanye you think about the visionary he is the uh, the fashion icon with Yeezys the constant music innovator that he is pushing the boundaries but Ye started and still is a producer at first and a damn good one at that man working with the likes of Jay-Z, Eminem and many other legendary uh, artists as well as his own catalog of mass Kanye has a great ear for music and Donda was not an exception for that the production value is superb and hopefully the engineers and all are all involved are mentally and physically rested after seeing as the world saw Ye craft this album making this album as perfect as he can. So before the album came out, we heard Ye was gonna drop uh, another album and everyone was excited, including myself, of course. And you know, when Ye announces an album, there's always some crazy rollout that has to go with it. And Ye is the king of rollouts, man. And this might be his best one yet. <laughs> if you didn't know, it's the norm now for artists to have a rollout or something to do that has to do with the song or album that they're releasing and we know that Kanye is a perfectionist but he took this rollout on a whole another level having live streaming events on Apple music listening parties and stadiums and going basically going on tour while making an album and having people listen to it in the stadium definitely uh an unknown thing that's happened and very successful for him as it made a lot of money for him and his uh, whole crew this this rollout for the album man it was it was wild man everyone was constantly waiting for uh this album to come out he was teasing music teasing features with like jay-z which was very very surprising that everyone was looking forward to he had uh some other songs with like uh, the baby for jail part two which is on the album a lot of people are rocking with that because you know the, the baby is having this whole controversy right now and also another thing about this rollout was the whole beef with drake man this beef was going like crazy man the memes of this were hilarious to look at on twitter and uh kanye kanye he knows how to how to stir up some uh some craziness man he definitely knows how to stir up some craziness and the beef with drake was wild man like I, but with both albums coming out drake was gonna drop clb everyone was yeah they were two of the most ante anticipated albums of the year that came out like back to back so it was definitely a crazy time for sure now moving on to the release of donda so when donna f donda finally came out it was like the floodgates opened musically man in my ears knowing Ye, his production value is gonna be great because this man is very very concise and damn near perfect so i was very excited i try to keep my ears closed to uh most of the live streams try not to watch too much too much of it because i wanted to get the full donda experience and damn man did he deliver he definitely delivered man beginning with the eerie donda chant to start off the album getting our ears warmed up to the masterpiece that we are about to hear so the album starts off with uh jail featuring Jay-Z and the sound of Ye and the harmonies is no doubt great man and the duo of course uh also known as the throne which jay-z uh mentions in the song it's great man it's great to see both of them together again after we know there was previous like uh squabble going on with, with both of them you know kanye had a bunch of comments about uh jay-z and it looks like it looks like they're in uh they're in good terms sorta 
maybe patching things up for now but it looks like the return of the throne might be coming soon and yeah it's a great way to start off the album you know production value again it's it's something i'm probably going to be saying a lot man production value is really something when listening to this album you it's like you can hear almost everything yay wants you to hear it, it's hard to put it into words man it's hard to describe it it's it's like if you have an ear for music you know what i'm talking about like you could tell certain things like how how it sounds man compared to like other other music that that's come out this year man he can like he produces like his life is on the line like it, there's a gun on his head and he's while he's producing like it's that good the album is full of back-to-back -back amazing songs that races through in your head constantly going like you can't stop the momentum starting with off the grid which may have verse of the year by fabio foreign for sure because that song is absolutely amazing man you can play that song almost anywhere and it's it's just a vibe man and just a vibe. He know he knows how to do it, man. Kanye knows how to how to produce great, great, great quality track. Like with Off the Grid, using the drill beat, the New York drill beat that's very popular right now, uh, and putting it, his own spin to it, adding Fabio Foreign, a great drill New York drill artist, a great New York drill artist, and Kanye's ability to get talents that you will not expect and places them almost perfectly in these songs is is great. He knows how to place these these acts together, these talents. Together together and make the sound the song sound beautiful next up we got uh hurricane with the weekend and little baby almost every time this song this song plays it feels as if heaven's gates are opening and that's what goes through when you go in man this song is that's the only best way to, the one way to describe this song is just heaven it feels like you're going into heaven man and also in this album kanye uh utilizes these talents great like uh the new rap the new talent that we're gonna be seeing in the next few years like Fabio Foreign, Baby Keem, Don Tolliver, Lil Baby, Derek the Baby, etc. It's great how he places these artists in his songs and in his craft to craft a great album. And it's it's really good, man. He knows how to he knows how to pick and choose who goes where and how how he structures it. And seeing how lengthy this album is, it's it surprises me how fast it goes when you listen to it. It doesn't feel long at all. It's really really well put together. And the way Kanye, I feel like Kanye has definitely learned from his previous albums that didn't get too much praise like kids see ghosts or what was the one i think it's uh there was one before that before kids see ghosts and then there was jesus is king before donda but yeah his last really really big good album was life of pablo and this and donda definitely feels feels way above the rest than the previous albums he uh, put out donda felt like an open book of what Kanye is going through in his life right now, and uh, and how his situation is going, it, it feels it feels good, man. The the production is great, the features that he put in, and all the features. So, shout out to all the features that were on this album. They all did their part, man. They all did their part to create to help create this uh this great this great body of work. For the features, it seems like he let them just rock out like how they would in their if they're doing their own tracks, and he just took out the curse words because I didn't even notice when listening to Donna that there was no cursing at all but when listening to it there's like no cursing and it still sounds really really good it's i didn't even notice there was no cursing upon like listening to it the first time and the bars that kanye be dropping talking about his mom how he messaged her the issues going on with his wife kim k etc it's it's a great great album man donda is a great way to honor his late mother who had who would have definitely loved to hear for sure the samples that kanye did was were great I believe Donda is also like making speeches in the song, but man, this this album is I gotta say, man, Donda's a masterpiece, man. It's a masterpiece. It's going to be an album that we're going to be talking about maybe the next decade. This might be one of the top albums of the next decade, man. Depending on what comes out in the future, but this this album is great, man. It's a really great album. Kanye definitely put put that put in that work. He definitely put in that work. It seems like his uh his creative uh ability is getting better and better, and I, I'm excited to see what he has next, man. Hope you all enjoyed this uh behind the bars with. With uh, Zashin, peace.